right lovelies good morning and welcome back to the channel this morning we are trying to get to the farmers market I've never been to the farmers market and I want to go for the first time today and I'm late but I hope I still get something nice to buy I need to get some condiments for soup that's that's the aim of going there and then fresh eggs so those two things so you guys welcome and I hope you guys enjoy ah <laughs> I reject you in the name of Jesus <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoy the vlog if you're new here you know what to do click on the subscribe button turn on your post notifications that way you get notified whenever we post a new video all right you guys let us go
when we get home. Oh, this place is looted. How much for the eggs? 160. Beautiful eggs. They are beautiful and big. I'll check everything. Yeah? I'm all out of bags. Can I get the bag, please?
so I'm done now and I'm heading to the car the boys had to leave me because they wanted to pee but anyway all our shopping is in there we'll do a quick haul when we get to the car all right but well, honestly this 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 beach is is a lot livelier than the village and again a number of you seem to think that I was calling West Beach a village. No, I didn't say we live in West Beach, the village. I said we live in one of the villages in West Beach. Okay? One of the villages inside West Beach. So it is, it's not West Beach that is the village. So you guys, this was my first time shopping at the farmer's market and it was actually quite it was a nice experience. It was almost as if I was back in Darlington at the farmer's market. But anyways, let's load the car. Anyway, you guys, just a quick haul. Like I said, I lost my receipt, so please forgive me. I hope you guys remember that these eggs were a pound sixty for six eggs, and I ended up buying three crates of the six eggs. And this is the size; it's a really good size. I really like how it turned out, and the eggs were really good quality. I also picked up this um, washing line. Um, we want to replace the washing line we have at the back of the house uh, also, we also picked up some batteries at Poundland the washing line and the batteries are from Poundland and these are the batteries I used to power my Christmas lights we also stopped at Superdrug to pick up some um, top up on my skincare these are my tranexamic acid and my niacinamide and zinc booster this is what I've just added to my skincare routine. I also picked up this vitamin E cream. It wasn't as oil based as I thought it was going to be, but I eventually ended up buying Vaseline body oil to augment um, for the winter. I also picked up this spring onion from the African market. Oh, I said African market from the market, the farmer's market. You guys saw that clip. And I also got two bags of carrots. Just check out the size of this one carrot. It's longer than my palm. I picked up two bags of that for um, our veggies, coleslaw, and things like that. We also got some big russet potatoes, and these were like yam. Trust me, they were like yam. They held well when we boiled them um, to eat with eggs. We also picked up some skittles for the boys at Poundland. Got two bunches of banana from the farmer's market all in all i spent about 34 pounds for everything that i got there so these two bunches of bananas were from the farmer's market so i also picked up some onions these onions were big and they were very good nothing was rotten at all it was so fresh it was so so fresh and this is the start of the whole farmers market because these apples were a huge wonder to me and this was what i was eating in my previous vlog i believe these were the apples that i cut up and were i was eating with um, toffee syrup i think that was peanut butter and honey i also have this with toffee syrup as well i cut up half into strips and i take that to work i picked up some plastic containers some people also call this tupperware i picked up some mixed peppers also from the farmer's markets i made fried rice and pepper with these these were very good very fresh as well the only problem was that it was not red enough but well, this was straight from someone's farm basically anyways uh, we picked up some conference pear and these pears are so sweet they are so sweet we also picked up some clementine i think that was what these were called they were not so sweet they were more sour than sweet but i really liked the taste sha anyway we also got some grapes i picked up three tubs of that the grapes were sweet and they were seedless so i didn't like the fact that they were seedless being that they were from the farm and these are the things we got from the african store i picked up some corrupted rodo the OGs on the channel we know the meaning of corrupted because they are not spicy and what is rude without spicy root it is just not the same but we just buy it so that the pepper will not the my pepper won't be lacking anyway i got a bag of that i also got some plantain for frying for boiling uh, we also got some ginger for our ginger shots i also make pepper base with this as well 
um this is one thing that i hardly let run out in my house so i always stock up on this and we also got some um tin tomatoes this is the Gino one i picked up two tins of that for pepper for jello fries for basically anything and we also got some okra these are the fresh okra i bought after i finished the frozen batch i got from farm food and if you don't know this test for fresh okra now you know so i got this bag of okra i also picked up some vanilla extracts from the african store i ran out of the old one i had so i just restocked on my vanilla extracts for pancakes for smoothies i also put that in my juice blend as well sometimes i picked up some plum tomatoes uh, these are the canned ones because the fresh tomatoes were just too expensive and then i also got some cassava flour from the african store this is a three kg pack and this is it brings back old memories from growing up in nigeria and yeah that's everything we got from the african store the farmer's market and the super drug and pound land but before we go i just want to show you some of the things we got from jewelry the oldies on the channel know that we have had some collaboration in the past they sent me this customized jewelry bag or jewelry case that has three compartments so there's one for hanging up chains and things like that there's one for earring studs and then you have this compartment for rings and other bracelets and anklets and things like that they also sent me this charm bracelet that comes with 12 i think it was eight yes it was eight charms on it and each of them have pictures embedded in them i'll probably show you that in details in another vlog but not just to drag this vlog on it for too long the details will be in the description box you also get to use my discount code to take to partake of the discounts that they have to offer they also sent me this matching pair of um, a hooded jumper i got this with my husband as well we have like a drawing of us on so my husband and i have this as a matching pair so we can twin with this and this is what it looks like discount code and further details will be in the description box thank you again to jewelry for sponsoring the segment of the video you guys know what to do hi lovelies and welcome to the segment of the video this segment has been sponsored by the booster box and if you guys are OGs on this channel you will know that for the October box I was putting on the same shirt but if I didn't say it you will not know but anyway that's besides the point it's different hair so you might not even pick it up this is the november unboxing for d'agusta now if you're looking to get your first box use my link as listed on your screen to be able to get three percent off your first box as usual we always get a couple of coupons so we also get a list of different items that we're getting in the box and at the back we usually get some amazing recipes to try out the first item we have here is from kellogg's so they're shaped in like gingerbread man you have the christmas trees you have a star things like that so that's what the shapes that we get on the box this is what it looks like so this retails for three pounds and can be found in all major supermarket chains so now the next item we're getting is from a brand called forest feasts and this is their salted dark chocolate almond this is basically almonds dipped in salted chocolate it looks very yummy uh, this is vegan and gluten free this retails for one pound fifty and can be found at waitrose saints breeze ocado amazon and fine food independence the next item we have is from a brand called double dutch and this is their lemon um double lemon drink this is a carbonated lemon flavored soft drink so this has no alcohol in it music to my ears this retails for one pound 20 and can be found in all major supermarket chains now this next item is is one of the unique items i was talking about this is from missing domain now this is the chicken flavor there is also another flavor that is the tongue cost two pork i apologize i think i murdered that one this is 100 grams it's a really good size so these are asian noodles and this one retails for just 65 pence and can be found in all major supermarket chains now this next one is from a brand called hens and this is their spicy parsnips soup 
this one retails for one pound seventy now i'm really not a fan of parsnips because i have tried it when we went out some time ago and the taste didn't really sit well with me so i will most likely be giving this one out so these retails for one pound seventy and can be found at stores like tesco sainsbury morrison's iceland um asda and okado now this next item is from a brand called love corn and this is their crunchy corn snack this is the sea salt flavor you also get the barbecue flavor in this box but they have sent me the sea salt flavor now these are just the test packs but the other sizes can be found in all major retailers stores like sainsbury tesco waitrose has their boots and wh smith now this next product is from a brand called Noor, and i believe everybody knows Noor at this point um so this is their vegetable stock pot this is a very good addition to like your soups and you know like you're making stew or a broth even pepper so this one will pass for that so this retails for one pound 90 and can be found in all major supermarket chains we have gherkins americans will call this pickles this is from a brand called kune and this is their jar of gourmet gherkins with herbs i'll see if i can put this in my wraps so this retails for three pound 55 and can be found at waitrose and okado now this next product is from a brand called plantastic now this is their tomato and char grilled pepper this retails for two pound 80 and can be found at morrison's and tesco this next product is from a brand called phd nutrition and this is their smart bar this is the cookie and cream flavor looks like a really good size this one retails for one pound 50 it's quite pricey for a really small bar and that's that's the size of it take all the packaging away but that's the size of it for one pound 50 it's like something like this is like a mouthful now this next product is quite unusual like i said this month's box is really really unusual we have a uh, baguette and this is from a brand called slow there are three o's in there retails for one pound 60 and can be found at tesco and corp they still have to be baked now for november this is the product of the month this is from a brand called terry's chocolate and this is terry's chocolate mint there is an orange flavor for this one this is the product of the month for november this retails for one pound 50 and can be found in all major supermarket chains so this is I think it's worth the price because it's it's quite weighty as well but anyway you guys that is everything we are getting in the dagusta box for november if you guys want to go ahead and get your box as well remember to use my discount code and purchase yours you get three percent off your first box all right you guys thank you to our lovely friends at dagusta next month i hope to be putting on a different sweater but anyway we move bye